Hi, welcome to World of Martial Arts Television. Uh, and today I am over the moon to talk to a real champion of martial arts. And I think this is his first movie. Um, and we are talking to Thomas Dodd, um, and who's in the uh, main, main bad guy in Tribal Get Out Alive. Now, um, I'm really excited and James is going to be over to you. Come on, what's the questions for Tom? Uh, being a martial artist, uh, how difficult is it to act on film? Uh, uh, without going too much, it's, it's a totally different craft altogether. Uh, but it applies a lot of the same. It applies a lot of the same. Uh, a lot of the same mentality, a lot of the same psychology. So, like when you're getting out there and you're doing a fight, something you you may very well feel fear, but you've got to project that you, you you're not scared and like you're you're confident and you're going to run through this guy, and uh, and like you've got to be able to like psychoanalyze that other person as well. Do you know what I mean? You've got to be able to see what their body language is saying about how they're feeling, uh, subtle little movements to see what they do. So, from a from a psychology point of view. You can apply a lot of what what we learn in martial arts, and as well as the discipline and the physical rituals and the mental tenacity for you, the mental gymnastics that goes on. Uh, so it, it is hard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say like oh it's it's easy because it's not. It's a totally different craft. But I found that because of my martial arts that it was somewhat. I used that as a as a sort of stepping stone to get where I wanted to be in the quickest possible time, really, with regards to me acting, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's great. Now, um, because um, I, I looked around, and I think this is a great opportunity to, to broadcast who you really are, um, there's not really a lot about you, Tom, um, on your martial arts. Can you tell us, I know it sounds, it sounds like you're, you're selling yourself a bit, but can you yeah. tell us what martial arts you've done and what you've succeeded in martial arts and what you still do in martial arts today? Yeah. I, so I've trained in martial arts since... I was probably five years old, started off when I was, uh, started off watching the, nin the Ninja Turtles and the Power Rangers, do you know what I mean? And it was just like, yeah, that's me, That I want to be like them guys. So I started off doing Uchi Ryu Karate uh, many years ago, done that for about five, six years. And then I, I started training in my uncle's gym. Uh, and it was like, a, it was a big, it was a big, uh, a big, a big, a big shift for me because uh, it was, a, it was really a rough, rough tumble gym sort of thing. And uh, you, sorry, can you repeat that question there? Because I've just, yeah, I've just you put me down memory lane. Then. No, no, that's it's fine. That's fine. Basically, I just want to know what what martial arts you you told us why how you got oh, into yeah. it. Uh, yeah, so, so what martial arts you've done. Uh, what you're still training, and you know yeah. what you've yeah. what's your best, you know what what's your best accomplishments in martial arts to date? Yeah. So as I said, started off, and then I started doing kickboxing when I was maybe 10, 11 years old with Sensei Alfie Lewis. Uh, the, that that gym is just I've got, I'm, I'm a bit mentally uh, battered <laughs> from from the gym. To be honest, it's just it brings back so many memories when I start talking about it. Uh, so I started training with Sensei Alfie Lewis, and we, we went around everywhere, uh, and we'd done all sorts of all sorts of competitions all over the place. But we were sort of thought that uh, the titles don't really mean like it, it's nice to win. It's nice, but the wins more important than the medals, and the performance is more important than than the trophy. I'd rather like I'd rather have a really good fight and get beat. But I know I went to war, sort of thing. Like that 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 was just drummed into us. Do you know what I mean? That's just like a product of the training that I went under. So, like, to be perfectly honest, like, I've, I've won it over the years. I've probably won hundreds, hundreds of, like, British nationals. Uh, I've won some Europeans. I think I've won, like, five, six, maybe seven or eight uh, world championships in various different thingies. And I'm not disparaging these organisations. I'm really not because I respect them all. And the people that fight at them, I respect the people that fight at the organisations and the fights that I had there. Like, and I remember them more clearly than I remember like 
specifically the details of what titles that I've won. I think I took a couple of too many shots to the end, maybe. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like I've, I've won a lot of titles there. The my most proud accolade is my third degree black belt that I've got from Sensei Alfie Lewis, uh, which in itself, to get it, like the training just every day in the gym, like for years, it took me, it took me like 15 years or something to get it. Do you know what I mean? Because I left for a little bit and then I come back and stuff like that. And he just, he doesn't give you your belt back for the year until you, after you've come back and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and like for the actual belt on the grade, and I had to fight four people at the wow. same time. There's no mercy, no mercy shown whatsoever. Like you, <laughs> you, you, you get knocked, you, you get knocked out, you get picked back up, and you get knocked out again. Sort of, sort so, of stuff. Sounds like, like you were fighting. Co- yeah, it sounds like, like you're fight, fighting Cobra Kai. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? It's called Mushin Kai. His, his, his actual gym is called Mushin Kai, yeah. and Mushin means no man. Uh, sort of like art of war, me and Moto Masashi style, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, be like water sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Uh, and obviously Kai Mean and Club. Yeah. We're, 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 we're the no man club. <laughs> uh, so what made you take on the role of the lead main guy, Richard Kenny? Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, as you may or may not know, I'm a... Uh, I'm one of the producers on this film as well, so uh, I had I had a lot to do with like what went on in the background. I, I have a company called Wild Star Productions, uh, and basically it was the idea was to do a different film. The, the idea was to do uh, a more action type film, uh, martial arts, maybe John Wick esque, maybe a little bit like that. Uh, with all the, the flashing and the bangs and the glitz and yeah. all that. But my ambition exceeded my potential or our potential budget. So we decided we were going to do a, a more feasible and realistic project first, uh, which we could achieve through various various means. It's, it's a lot easier to do some of these like... Uh, these illusions on camera with regards to the film that we've just done, that it would be, say, if you want to make, I don't know, a car explode or something, like you've actually got to make a car explode to see that happen, do you know what I mean? And that costs money. So uh, essentially, we, 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 done, we done this film to uh, get our, to sort of get our foot in the door, show people what we were capable of. We had uh, two fantastic, uh, like, I obviously spoke to my friends, uh, Zara and Biff, who are very well established in the industry and uh, they know exactly what to do and they know how to set these projects up, do you know what I mean? So uh, I, but 99% of it was filmed in Liverpool. So like, whereas Zara and that, they were just in the industry, so they helped me. They helped me to uh, know a lot of things that I didn't know. And uh I I went I, I had certain connections when I say connections like I got certain investors I I, I got locations like because it's predominantly filled in Liverpool uh, the community it really helped out with this project I've got I've got to say that because I probably had like fifty to hundred local people uh, volunteering their time uh, just to help me out uh, so. Uh, getting back to the original point anyway, because uh, there's a lot to tell to be honest uh, but getting back to the original point about Kenning, what inspired me to do it was basically I wanted to be an actor I really like expressing myself uh, I, I, I used martial arts as a vehicle for that and uh, after so many knocks in the head I sort of I wanted to turn my creativeness uh, my creativity and my expressionism towards something else. Uh, mot- like motivation is a big part of what I do. It's, it's a big part of help me get to what I'm doing, and that's why I originally got into film because I want to. I want to do some of these motivational scenes, these motivational films, that things that drop it touch you, and then you just think, yeah, that's what's that? Do you know what I mean? Like start crying and all that makes the biggest baddest man I know cry. Do you know what I mean? But. Uh, why I originally done Kenny? Because he's perfect. He, he, 
it's a perfect character for me because he, I'm, I'm, uh, as you can very well hear, I'm, I'm from Liverpool and uh, it's a bit of a tight cast, isn't it? Like, you know, Coronation Street, EastEnders, the bad guy's always from Liverpool, isn't it? So, as, 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 a step, as a stepping stone, while I am still learning my craft, because I'm under no illusions, do you know what I mean? While I'm still learning my craft, it's easy for me, it's easy for me to, to, to display what people would characteristically define as, like, underhanded behaviour or, you know, just act <laughs> like a shady, a shady scouser, really, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's what I did in this film, while, while I'm obviously still learning. Yeah. Uh, and I, 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 I wanted to play this character because I've done a bit of fight, fight work on other films and uh, uh, played s small parts, just getting involved, getting a feel for the industry. And uh, after surveying the landscape, I thought, okay, this is this is how I'm going to approach it. Do you know what I mean? I, I've got I've got people within the industry who I've made friends with through martial arts. We respect each other because because of the martial arts that we practice, etc. And because at the end of the day, once you get to meet them through the martial arts, you find out the good people. You become friends. Uh, and that's really like the story behind me playing. Good. Kenny. Good. Now um, I'm taking you back to the martial arts, of course. Um, okay. I'm I'm really intrigued. Um, I used to. I don't know if you remember uh, the editor of Martial Arts Illustrated, Bob Sykes. Uh, yeah. I once saw him Another. fight, um, and awesome. I think I think that sometimes I'd love you to explain what you have to do mentally before you go into a fight? What, what, what is your condition? You don't just walk in there. You actually have to set yourself up because that person in front of you is going to hit you. How did you set yeah. yourself up for that kind of thing? Everyone's different. Like, I've, the gym I train at as well, there, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of brutes in there. Like, a, a lot of really just tough, broken face, teeth missing people. <laughs> <laughs> lovely people, lovely people, really nice people, genuine people, salt of the earth. But like they don't, they, they like getting hit. Do you know what I mean? It's like it is what it is. Uh, so to prepare yourself for it, like as you as you mentioned, Bob Sykes, he's another one. He used to come down and train with my sensei, and uh, they they just go to war. And that you seen Bob Sykes fighting with the likes of Ronnie Green and that, and doing his jump spin and up kicks all over the place. And yeah, big shout out to Bob in it. But getting prepared for the fight, it's uh, it, it all depends on like as I say, the person. But me personally. Like, it's a little bit like Mike Tyson, in, in, in a sense, like how, especially growing up when I was a little boy, uh, I was always scared when I was a little boy, you know what I mean? I, was, I, didn't, I didn't want to get humiliated, I didn't, I didn't want to get hit, I didn't want to punch in the face, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> as you get older and you sort of like, it's like inst institutionalization almost, yeah. do you know what I mean? It, it becomes yeah. your new reality, it becomes your new norm and... It's not that you've got no fear in there. It's just what will be, will be sort of thing. And uh, as long as like my name, my I, I got given the name Wild Style, uh, and I've I've got name one of my companies because that's the my name. Uh, I got given the name in martial arts Wild Style because I used to like literally just like I was like a, a banshee. I was like a, a berserker, if you like, uh, and do what you call it. Uh, I hate talking about myself, it throws me off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it does. But, uh, what was it? What's oh, that? What was the question again? Sorry. You, you're basically you're focusing on what you have to do to psych yourself up to go into a fight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it depends me personally. Like, like uh, I, I've got to a stage now where I'll just, I'll just zone out. It's like a sort of like zen. Do you know what I mean? You just zone out and you just you're in the zone, aren't you? That's what they call it. You're in the zone, you're in your mind's eye or whatever. You're going through the techniques in your mind. You're thinking about if you've looked at tape on the guy or something like that. You, you're thinking about his tendencies, what he does, what he's likely to do. Uh, me personally, as a fighter, I don't want to give too much away in case I ever do jump back in. This, that, that. I, I, I like to attack people's balance. So I'm always looking for someone's balance the second I can get the guy, like sweep him up in the air or something like that. Do you know what I mean? That's like. Yeah. You're just thinking about all these things, and like you do, you get nervous and that. Like you might need the toilet or something, like unnecessarily. Do you know what I mean? And it's it, 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 even still, after so many fights and that, it's sort of like my Tyson in that way. Where you're that scared, you go in there and you just you just like trying to trying to annihilate people, like like literally on on a level where that guy's done nothing to you, that guy's done nothing to you, but 
I just sort of look at it like it, I had this this mentality because I'm not without going too far into it because of a bit of my backstory. I've got this mentality where everything I love is behind me and what my goals are in front of me. And that guy standing in front of me is trying to, trying to stop me. Or he's either trying to get at my family who's behind me or he's trying to stop me from taking my people like Moses across the river. Do you know what I mean? It's excellent, like, excellent, yeah. That, that's yeah. That's how I look at it. Right. Uh, what research did you do to get into the character you played? Oh, it's a bit dark, that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> because, because of the, uh, the content of the film and stuff like that, there was certain things that I looked at which I'd prefer not to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, researching the, the genre of the film. Uh, well, I, obviously, I don't want to get too deep into that stuff. But uh, I was looking at like slick, rich, uh, conniving people. Do you know what I mean? Who, who've got no, who've got no real loyalty to nobody. Psychopaths, basically. I was studying, study trying. I was just trying to study psychopaths and like, uh, and just try and recreate it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, well giving too much away. No, no, that's good. That's good. Um, talking about your martial arts, um, is there a specific thing that you, when you're fighting, you like using it? Is it usually your feet or your hands or is it a combination or you just use total body? What what do you like using the most? What What's your best weapons? Uh, in competition, because uh, obviously like, I, I don't go around getting into many street fights, but uh, the, the the difference it's a big major difference you've got in my opinion you've got fight you've got fighting and you've got violence do you know what I mean that that's two different uh, two different things in competition when I'm fighting in a uh, fisticuffs if you like uh, I prefer to, as I said before and without giving away my style too much because uh, that's something I protect it's like it's, it's, it's like might I might have to use that one day do you know what I mean <laughs> yeah 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 your secret. Like that, not not really secret. It's not really secret. It's just, uh, it's just. I, I don't. Uh, as I say, might have to use it one day. You know, uh, I like to attack people's balance. If right. you can get someone on the floor, if you can get someone on the floor, you can finish a fight. And if it's a fight for like real consequences, like on the streets or something, if there's more than one person, then you're gonna have to and it, and it's safe to got like weapons or something like that, uh, and you can't get away. I like to I, I like to take people's I like to get people on the floor so sweeps I like to sweep people I like to I like to come in with my legs push them off balance and then once I've got them off balance it's it's like fighting you great know, a walk, yeah a walk, uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, your character shows a very abusive attitude which changes to a very violent aggressor later on uh, I was just wondering how difficult was it to switch between the moods on the camera. That was a. Uh, I'm quite an. Ex I was quite. A, if you ask people around setting that, you'll, you'll probably hear some mad stories. Like, uh, because I like. I wanted to really bring me best, and I know. So, so like in between scenes or this, that, and you're there, I'd literally, I'd literally be walking around, growling and grunting to myself and shouting maybe the odd profanity. Uh, just like really getting myself like really angry so that like I, it, like when I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the cameras or this that either, that's genuine fury you see and that isn't someone pretending to be mad that is someone that worked themselves up but I've still got enough control over myself so while we're doing the fight scenes and stuff like that I can sort of maintain that mindset but still have some sort of control of it because of, like this psych psychological gymnastics that pseudo psychology do you know what I mean that I sort of like try and attribute some of this to, but it, it was it was a, it was it was actually physically demanding when you're getting your endorphins and you're getting your adrenaline running, and then, then all of a sudden you've got to come down for a minute and actually listen to what these you've got to like fall out of that character or that out of that madman and then actually like take on board what the people are saying. So you have really like nice, lovely, polite people. You've still got to address them as really lovely, nice. You can't start being just because you're in character and the standard doesn't mean you can be like. 
and like that with other people on set. Do you know what I mean? So as you say, you've got to jump in and out of it and try and maintain it. I'd, I'd sort it without being too pretentious. I'd be, I'd be like, okay, guys, I'm gonna go over here now. I need like 15, 20 minutes just to like really psych myself up for this next scene because it's really charged. Do you know what I mean? So I hope that answers your question. It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you, 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 um, you, you know, as a fighter, um, that screen fighting's um, a lot different. Um, did you find that a challenge um, to start to, to learn screen fighting? Yeah, I, start, I started that uh, a few years ago, and uh, it, weren't, it weren't necessarily a massive challenge just because of the amount of training I've done with the martial arts. Like, uh, it, it, it's just you've got to be a lot more aware of what you're doing because you can't you can't you can't afford to be kicking someone in the, like an, an actor with a whole <laughs> film relies on in the yeah. face. So like you you better know what you're doing because if you catch the, the star in the face and all of a sudden the whole production shuts down for weeks, then that's on you. Do you know what I mean? It's just like the, the real consequences to it. There's a, there's a responsibility. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. There's a heightened awareness about that responsibility. So it's more of a mental thing, uh, but the transition, it, it, it feels weird, it, like actually like pulling your punches and that, you know what I mean? It feels, it does feel really strange to a martial artist, because as martial artists, we train to hit people. Uh, we train to like, we practice kumite and things like that, you know? Uh, so, or even, even your kata, your bunkai, do you know what I mean? You're grabbing people, you're pulling people, do you know what I mean? So. It, it, it is very strange, like to like, and then to do like the reactions and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it, it's, it's, it's good for them, it's brilliant. It, 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 you're telling a story, and that's what, that's what I like to do. I, I want to tell stories, so it's like, so. uh, so without giving anything away, uh, which part of tribal do you feel like you expressed your character the most or Ooh. the best? Okay, I'll give them too much away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a scene in it. There's, there's a there's a there's a, 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 a very definite distinctive scene in it. Oh, uh, and I, I get to express one side of myself. And I, I, I can't wait to like obviously express other sides, but that's a side where I can I can I, I, I've trained to go there quite regularly, so I can go there, do you know what I mean? Like school like beating the art of fighting without fighting, school duggery, intimidation, like this is things like aspects of fighting do you know what i mean uh, so I've, I've been on them many a times and had a guy beat before we before we even done anything do you know what i mean so I, I sort of and growing up obviously like i'm i'm, I'm not like i'm I grew up on a council estate do you know what i mean so I, I, i've seen a couple of things growing up as well like nothing that i, I want to engage with or talk about do you know what i mean but it's just like you Going and going through high school and stuff like that, you see all sorts of stuff. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Uh, What's the question? Uh, which part do you feel like you express your character the best? Yeah, that 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 the end fight. Do you know what I mean? Like that's yeah. where I felt like, like that's the only way I could because that's what the the story entails. Do you know what I mean? I, when I say expressed myself with it, I got to express. I, I got air time. Do you know what I mean? And I got to express Mr. Richard Kenning's character, but I wouldn't necessarily. I got I got to express me, myself fully in the entirety. But like, as far as energy and getting to like, I, I suppose I did express myself, but it's like that I expressed Mr. Kenning's fury and rage and uh, uh, narcissism and his yeah. self entitlement and. Stuff yeah. like that more than I express myself. Hopefully, do you know what I mean? Right. Obviously, everyone's got that side to them. Yeah, but absolutely. Yeah, uh, I I really got to like. Uh, that's obviously in the fight scene. Uh, there's there's obviously another scene where I'm speaking to another one of the leads, and I get to open up a little bit about Kenning's character. I really enjoyed that bit because that's really taking me more towards the acting side of things. I had to I had to prepare myself then differently away and just cycle myself up into a rage, do you know what I mean? I had to like like deliver something almost half felt, uh, which is surprising seeing as not how narcissistic the character is. Do you know what I mean? Um how did you find it working with Zara? Uh, have you done it before or is this is this your first time on screen with her really? Uh, I have 
I've worked with Zara on a couple of things, but nothing where it's been me and her on screen together. It's always been like behind the scenes, coordinating, uh, helping out with the fight guys and that, you know? So uh, this is the first time I've ever like been on screen with Zara and I've seen her in a few things, you know what I mean? She's, she's obviously uh, been very active over the, the last number of years. Uh, she's getting, it looks like now, like, you know what I mean? She's going to start getting the recognition that she deserves, in my opinion, because, uh, in my opinion, she's done an awesome job on this film. She, it weren't just what she done on screen, which is phenomenal, uh, what she done off screen as well. Uh, just uh, just amazing uh, from a professional business, uh, promotional, uh, from from that sort of aspect, she was fantastic, and she's a nice person as well, which is <laughs> it's just not as common as you'd think. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I know everyone looks like that, everyone's lovely and understanding, but she's a real genuine nice person as well. But she doesn't say no fools, and she can fight. So <laughs> perfect, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I get a drink. Yeah, and okay, James, over to you. Uh, do you feel you had enough time to give your character enough depth, or was there something you wanted to maybe add to him or? Yeah, there was all there was. There's always like even even if we got another two or three weeks shooting, there's always like there's that many perfectionists on board. It was like we're always going to be looking at how we can make it better. But uh, yeah, in a sense, uh, there was obviously time restraints on some of the locations and stuff like that. Where there's just nothing you can do with with the, with these sorts of budgets. With these sorts of budgets, uh, it, 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 it looks fantastic for the budget that we got, but a lot of that was, as I say, it was like, even like uh, people from the community coming in, lending us the big fancy cars, and uh, letting us use their, their buildings and stuff like that because of the, they're aware of different work that we do in the community, so they come forward to come and help us out and stuff like that. Uh, but... Yeah, what you call it? Well, what was it again? What was the question? Sorry. Uh, just if you felt like you needed to add anything to your character. Yeah, yeah. So it was mainly like there was a couple. There was like maybe once or twice where, uh, just because of the location, like literally one of the locations was uh, renovated the next the next day. Do you know what I mean? It's like we got in there and it was it was gone forever. Now it's I don't know if it's a nursery or some stuff now, but it was old spooky abandoned do you know what i mean it was perfect when we was on there and there's a deadline and once the deadline's gone the deadline was gone and we couldn't we couldn't really uh one of them scenes that that happened to be was like would it give my character a bit more depth do you know what i mean which uh it is what it is that's that's what you do and when when you when you're coming in at, at this level and you're trying to compete with people at a much higher level than you you're always gonna have to compromise somewhere and yeah. It, it, it was what it was, you know what I mean? I, I feel like I could probably could have maybe given a bit more depth, but I'm not complaining. I, I'm, I'm made up with the results of the film, yeah. to be honest. Um, had, you, had you met Dean before? Uh, uh, sorry, had you met Matt before, um, before you were working on this movie? N not really, no. Uh, as I say, I got in contact with Zara and, uh, and Biff. Uh, we discussed the idea of a film, etc. And uh, Zara had worked with Matt before. Uh, on a couple of projects, I think. So, uh, yeah, uh, I hadn't met him before, but like now, like his attention to detail and the way he understands his craft, uh, he's very much a perfectionist. Uh, I respect that. I respect someone who's meticulous and to the point of obsess obsession. Do you know what I mean? And that's how you've got to be if you want to be at these high levels within yeah. anything. Yeah. And Matt's got it. Yeah, he's got it. So, big respect to Matt. He's done a great job. He made up with the film. Uh, well, for your first film, you really brought out your exceptional talent as talented martial artist. And I was wondering if this is your main focus and passion in film, or is there any uh, other parts that you're looking for in mainstream action movies? Yeah, I'm off. Like, at the minute, I, I, I love martial arts. That's that's, that's pretty much who I am. I, I love it. 
probably a bit too much sometimes. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not too much. I know, I know, I know. For, 40 years, mate, 40 years, you're all right, don't worry about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I really, I really, I really enjoy the, the fight scenes. I, I, I'm not going to lie, I do, because, like, I'm, like, literally, like, I teach, I teach kids as well nowadays, so I've got my own uh, martial arts school. Uh, I teach adults, teach all sorts of different classes. Uh, and so, like, if I'm not doing it on set, I'm doing it in there. Uh, I'm very much a... Uh, uh, I, I, I teach people by showing them. Do you know what I mean? I try, and, I try to like, I like to do all the jump spinning kicks for the kids, but the kids look up like, wow, I want to do that. And it just gets their attention. Do you know what I mean? Just get their attention and then tell them what you want. Do you know what I mean? Do whatever. But you got to get that attention first. That the kicks and that seem to do it. Uh, so where was I again? Sorry. Just, just, I, I, you were just asking the question. Weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if there was anything else that you wanted to do other than uh, maybe the martial yeah. arts or. Yeah, uh, I, I'd like to do some like really like motivational type stuff. Like, uh, obviously, everyone wants to do the unique projects. Everyone wants to like lead their mark. Everyone wants, everyone wants to do this, you know. Uh, and there's some stories like very like. I I love movies a lot. I, like, I probably don't love it as much as some people, and I probably love it more than others. Uh, but. Some movies that just proper sit with me, do you know what I mean? Or there's some, it's like the way you get some music and it just sits with you in, in your own little unique way, do you know what I mean? And just I want to be able to create them moments for myself and other people, do you know what I mean? The uh, world needs a bit more of that, doesn't it? You're talking, uh, martial, you're, talk, you're talking martial arts movies. What, what's it, what's, what's one, of, one of the martial arts movies that's inspired you that you really love? You've got like Enter the Dragon, do you know what I mean? Which is like even like <laughs> even even like it weren't my generation, do you know what I mean? But even still, I was like when I watched it, it was like watching the Ninja Turtles or something again, do you know what I mean? Except I was a bit older, I was just like, wow, where's this guy been hiding? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, you've obviously got John Claude Van Damme, grew up watching John Claude Van Damme, Bloodsport, and all that, you know, kickboxer. Uh, He's, he's a legend, isn't he? Uh, Jackie Chan. Uh, they, that's the, they, I'm, I'm old school, to be honest, you know? Like Chuck Norris. There's nothing wrong with that. So, watching, so am I. So am I. <laughs> I, I, I. I grew up watching like Texas Ranger and stuff yeah. like that. You know, do you, do like, I know it's not martial arts, but like the A-Team and all that. That's like that, yeah. that's the my yeah. generation, you know what yeah. I mean? So I just... Uh, yeah, just them sorts of people, you know? Uh, yeah. And real martial artists, like like some of these, I, I know people, uh, and I hear stories, like people like Terry O'Neill. I don't know if you heard of Terry O'Neill. Yeah, I know that, Terry. Uh, people like, like, because like they're from Liverpool and stuff like that, so I grew up watching people like that, and like so Terry started getting into film, I've seen them on the front cover of Combat Magazine with, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and that. Just, you know, just mad stuff like that. I mean, obviously, my sensei, Alfie Lewis, uh, we've got a... Uh, my sensei Alfie Lewis has done quietly done like bits in films and stuff like that. Uh, the co the choreography and the, some coordination and stuff like that. And we've obviously uh, we've got another person from our gym, a uh, well known scout, uh, Eunice Lothar. She she's from the same gym that I'm from. So like that that inspired me as well because that's just some girl who used to who used to train in the same place I train and now she's doing all sorts over there and she's so fair play to her as well. Stuff like that. Uh, I was wondering, what, was there any difficulties with the stunts or was there something that you couldn't do that maybe was out of the budget? Uh, uh, to be honest, as uh, most of our stunts were, like, were on the ground, really. They were a great deal. That's why we've done this sort of film, because we could still deliver an action-packed film and we wouldn't have to get too many people airborne or set them on fire or you know, any of this good stuff. <laughs> Uh, but we could still recreate like a real quality film and that's 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 a big that's we obviously had Zara there we had um, we, um, we, we spoke to Ross and Ross was 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 up for it so we just we just needed to 
work the budget really. Do you know what I mean? That was just there, figure out what we were going to do. Uh, yeah. When you when you're talking about t t training kids, um, do you feel um, more, you know, uh, sort of like a, a duty to try and keep them focused and keep them off the streets and more focused on uh, learning um, a discipline and stuff like that? Uh, no, 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 like maybe as like as another human, I, I get what you're saying. Like I do feel them things. Do you know what I mean? It's like we we get the kids come through all the time and. Martial arts is, 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 as you say, it's one of the best vehicles in this time either. But even nowadays, sometimes I'm a bit, I'm even a bit hesitant, just like because sometimes you get kids come in and then they won't stay. And then if you taught, if you just weaponize that kid and then he, you know, he, he loses that discipline and he dis and he loses that respect, you've just done be shot onto the world, <laughs> haven't you? Do you know what I mean? So that, that that that's my only my only reservation whatsoever and it's only a small reservation because i believe the good that martial arts does is far exceeds that do you know what i mean but that 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 that, that is one of maybe other than that it, it it changed my life like literally and that that's a big part of my backstory sort of thing uh, like i sort of went off the rails a bit and stuff like that and uh it was my sensei and my peers and that he pulled me back on got me saying and next minute i'm out at four in the morning doing runs and that do you know what i mean and I've, I've been good ever since, so, yeah. Good, good. Uh, lastly from me, uh, were you happy with your role in the final cut, or is uh, anything that you would have liked to change? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was happy with it. I was, the edit it was fantastic. Uh, the guys, the post-production, uh, the colour grading, the sound, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was happy with everything. To be honest, I can't really say there's anything, any more I could have expected off anyone. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was. Absolutely doing a great job as being a lead bad guy. Would you like to play a good guy? And have you got anything in the pipeline um, for your future acting career on screen? That's my final question as well. Yeah, uh, I would. I would really like to play a good guy. Maybe not, you know, a hundred percent good. <laughs> things aren't black and white, you know what I mean? Uh, I'd like to play a really deep character. Uh, he's got all sorts of aspects to him, but he's essentially good, do you know what I mean? Uh, like uh, one of these uh, prodigal son type roles, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, where he realizes, like, you know, and he comes back, he comes back home and he's a changed man and all that because of his experience. I'd like to really do some meaningful, meaningful stuff. Whether I use my martial arts, I, ideally it would be nice to use my martial arts skill in that. Uh, maybe in a manner that isn't just necessarily about bashing people up and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Go a bit more traditional, like, uh, like the mentality, the, the, just the potential in it and stuff like that. Uh, I would like to do some, obviously, like, I'd like to do the best projects I can, I can do you know what I mean? I like, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily worried about being like the next Chris Hemsworth or this, that, and the other. Like, that, I'm genuinely, it doesn't really, I just, as long as I'm happy and uh, I enjoy, I'm enjoying myself, uh, my parents are proud of me, my kids are going to be proud of me, stuff like that, then I, I'll take any, I'll consider all roles, do you know what I mean? Uh, doesn't necessarily have to even be the biggest role as long as it's a good role. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. To be honest, this is sort of hopefully going to be my breakout filler. Yeah. Uh, it's going to display. It's going to display that uh, I can do what I need to do to a competent level with 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 some of the best people. And uh, I'm I'm just looking forward to the future. Now, to be honest, yeah. Tom, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, we wish you all the best, and I, I hope we'll be talking to you soon on your next project, okay? Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Okay.